Hi everyone, hope you all are doing really well and I think after a long time but I was also giving some of the interviews. I'll be sharing a good news to you guys as well. But uh, before starting that, we also know that rest assured is also an important part of an interview now. So as we all know, many of the organizations are working with extensively working with APIs now. It's like we are into digital era, so everything is working with the APIs. So APIs, like automation of the APIs is also very necessary. So many of the organization has been implemented rest assured. So initially, I think some uh, like a year back or maybe two years back, they'll be asking Java and the Selenium. But now there is another element has been added, which is rest assured or the API testing. So not manual testing, but yeah, you should be knowing automation of the APIs as well, because it's easier. It's a very complicated process to test APIs manually. If you do it with the postman, it's fine, but I think automation would work really like it will take four or five minutes to test around 25, 26 APIs. Whereas if you do manually, you again have to have more time into it. So, and rest assured is a very uh, good tool wherein you have all the things in very like uh, you just have to learn a syntax, many of the syntax, and I think they'll be asking you to write the syntax as well. And if you say like how much you rate yourself in the rest of shorts, I think this video is going to help you out to understand what all has to be prepared because in Google there are a lot of data, but what exactly is going to cover as, as a part of interview, this is going to help you out. And as, as you also know, the interviews is going on and there are a lot of, you know, interviews are going on. So if you want me to refer or you, you're looking out for some referral, you're not getting the opportunities, kindly reach out to me so that I can help you out uh, like wherever I can. So yeah i think uh, and you know how to reach to or you can ping anything into the comment i'll only come and reach out to you so you don't have to share your mail id you just have to uh, say that i'm interested or anything i'll be i'll only reach out to you for the referral okay so what is rest assured so rest assured is a java library designed for simplifying and automation automating the testing of restful apis it provides a domain specific language DSL for writing readable and expressive test for endpoints, API endpoints, making it easier to validate responses, headers and more. How do you add rest assured to your project? So I think that is also the question that how you want to do it, how you start your project with the rest assured. So to add the rest assured to the project, you can include its dependencies in, in your project build configurations file such as Maven or Gradle. For example, in Maven, you had add the following dependencies. So I think here, I think the question goes, okay. So question goes a um, little up. So here, if you can see in the down, the de dependencies, io.restassured, group ID, you will be adding, you'll be adding artifact ID and you'll be adding version and you'll be adding scope. And this is how it has to be. This is how you'll be having little. So these are the tags you should be remember, like what all tags is required to add everything. So how do you send a get request using rest assured? So uh, to send a get request using rest assured, you can use get method from the rest assured class specifying the api endpoint so we'll be having it in the example this is very important okay get so you will be having um, uh, import static dot rest assured rest assured like this is how you'll be having the response response get you will be putting your http call and then that's it so you can also have if when someone asks you to write the syntax you can also write given dot when dot get in the and in the get you will be putting your endpoint url and then there will be a lot like if they want the status code get status code also 200 you can mention that's how also you can write it so again we'll be putting less in the slide but i'll be trading so that's why i i don't share slides now i'll be like communicating more to you guys so that it will be easier for you to understand what exactly the interviewer asks the questions okay so how do you validate a response using rest assured this is also the question has been asked to me in one of the interview so how you do it so it will be like rest assured provide various methods for response validations so you can use then on a response object to apply assertions on the status code headers a response body for example so response dot then dot status code dot content type that that's how like status code 200 you will be putting you can also put assert or anything if you wanted to have like equals to also you can put it to validate the response so what is the response json because only you have to check 200 right now right you don't have to check much data so then you can put status code with them what is the json path in rest assured json path is a query language used to traverse and a query elements within the json responses rest assured allow us to use json path to extract specific data from the json responses for validations or further processing now again the question comes how to extract data using json path with rest assured 
so you'll be using extract method and json dot json path method on a response to object uh, on an object or a response object to extract a data using json expression so you'll be using string value response dot then dot extract dot json path dot get string and then key and the sub keys how do you send post request using necessary so this is also has been asked like write me the format for the post request so this is how you should be writing the post request we also know that post request is used for creating a data so creating any account or anything it will be used for that so post request so given dot content type content type it's like application json dot bot request body dot when dot post dot then dot status code that's how your code has to be so how do you send put and delete request using rest assured so put again it's used for update put can also be used to update uh, create the data but in terms of readability or the standards will be using put to update the data okay so given dot content type and the content type you will be sending application json then you have body then it will be request body then when then put then um, you have you can have your url or endpoint url and the resource id what you wanted to update then and then status code and this is how you will be having and now we'll go ahead with the delete request so delete is like dot when dot delete uh, what resource id you have to delete it you put your end endpoints uh, endpoints uh, with the request like what request you will be sending so you, you just have to remember i in one of the interview i forget about the endpoints but i think you should remember you have to put the endpoint url as well and then 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 status code okay and then what are the request specifications in rest assured so request what what are request specification is rest assured predefined configurations for requests they can all they can include headers query parameters authentications and more using request specifications helps maintain consistency and reusability across multiple requests so this is our request specification is that can be the question asked in the interview how do you authenticate using rest assured so rest assured supports various authentication method for example to perform basic authentication you can use auth method along with uh, this is a very important question along with basic or uh, preemptive authentication okay we'll go on ahead okay so you will be using given dot or dot basic username password dot when you can have you can use auth here so this is how you will be using it auth is like you will be doing validations of username and password what is bdd in rest assured so bdd in rest assured refers to writing test in the human readable language that close closely dissemble natural language it involves using method like given when and then to describe the behavior of the api and the test and making test more ex expressive so how do you perform query parameter validations in rest assured so there are a lot of query parameters when you send the query parameters is what when you send something in the url itself that is called your query parameter so you can use query parameter method within the given sections to add the query parameter to the request for validation so you can use then sections to assert the presence or value of the query parameter in the response so you will be sending given dot query parameter query parameters will always sense in the key and value format when dot get and then dot then and then study code and then in the body you can have query parameter equal to expect expected uh, like equals to can be used equal to then your expected value so what is the response specification in rest now you have we have studied about the request specification now we have a response specifications so response specification in rest assured is a predefined configurations for response validations it allow you to specify assertions and expectations that are applied to the response ensuring consistent validations across multiple tests and then how you use response specification in rest assured to use response specification you can define it using response spec builder class and then apply it using expect method in the in the then sections of a request this is the uh, this way the specified assertions will be applied to the response for example you can have a response specification and create an object because all these are interfaces okay so you will be creating an object so you will be using a response spec and then you will be creating a object or response specification builder is a class 
so that class has been used uh, with that interface and that is how you can explain dot expect uh, status code okay, method has been used dot expect content type content type dot json dot build and given dot when dot get url then your response uh, spec uh, object is being passed so that's how you will be using here this is also called i think uh, this if somebody asks you i think nobody <laughs> Uh, ask like how what is it is it is also called a flint interface pattern so when like it's just for your knowledge like when we are about talking about uh, design patterns and everything we'll have videos on design pattern as well to make you understand what all design patterns we have worked in and so there are there are companies which definitely ask about the design patterns so uh, not much but we'll be having a brief about like maybe a short video on design patterns we'll understand all all those design patterns as well so how do you analyze timeouts in rest assured? So rest assured allow you to set the timeout values using given sections. For example, you can use timeouts methods to define the connections and the request timeout for an instance. So now how it is given dot timeouts dot connect timeout dot read timeout dot when and dot get. Okay, given ke baadhi, like after given only you will be having all those uh, methods which is being used. Okay. What is the root path feature in the rest assured? So root path feature in the rest assured allow you to specify a default path that is used as a starting point for the extracting data using JSON path expressions. This can simplify data extractions when dealing with complex JSON, JSON structures. Now again, how do you handle SSL in rest assured? I think this has been asked the question also, the SSL one. So SSL rest assured, like rest assured is handled SSL by default. However, if you need to work with self-assigned certificates or specific trust stores, you can configure SSL using trust stores and uh, relax HTTP validations method with the given sections. So what is log in rest assured? So log method is used to assured, a log me uh, is a method in rest assured is used for logging requests and response details. It can help diagnose issues and provide insight to the interaction into the interactions with the API. Now again, this is can be useful in terms of um, your um, setup. So, so how do you set headers in rest assured? So you can use the header method with the given sections to set the headers for, for the request. For example, given dot header, you have bearer token. How what type of authorization you have it? You can auth token, you have bearer token. Like that tokens you will be having. You can have cookies dot header content type application json json dot when dot get url so what is the difference between given when then in rest assured so it's same it's same in uh, like how it is used in bdd the same has been used it in given so in rest assured, rest assured given is used to set up preconditions pre for the request when is used to execute the request and then is used to perform the assertions on the response these methods help structure test in a clear and expressive manner How can you effectively manage dynamic values such as time spent uh, when validating response using rest assured? So to handle dynamic values like time spent, time stamps during response validations with, HD, which, uh, re with rest assured, you can utilize a range of JSON path functions such as matches or a contains. So given dot, um, given dot get then assert that can be used in terms of body if you wanted to have the time stamps. And the regex API is also being used. So regex is also an API wherein you have to have some certain kind of validations that can be done. Like you can have the matcher, pattern matches, okay. Then you have some pattern matches, right? When you have to match some certain patterns in the timestamp, there's certain patterns has to be there, right? So that can be used with the regex API. So in the regex API, there are a lot of matches are there. So that matches, regex can be used. How can you validate a numeric response using rest assured? To validate a numeric response value using rest assured, you can employ hand-pressed matches. For instance, you can utilize equals to method to ascertain if the response value aligns with the anticipated numeric value. So you can use hand-pressed matches dot equals to and then you can use given dot when then dot then. Retrieving the status code then integer status code response dot get status code and then you will have that. Now describe how to extract response time information from the response using rest assured. 
so you can use time method with a response a method on a response object to extract the response time in milliseconds for example response response rest assured dot get long response time response dot time so i think uh, here you have learned a lot of methods okay and uh, uh, here in this video, you've learned many methods, many syntaxes. And I think if you prepare all this, I think you're good to go for your interview and all the best guys. And again, I'm saying uh, that if you have, uh, if you need any referral or any help, just uh, ping your need or into the comment section. And please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel so that you will get a notifications whenever I'll upload a video. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.